sunshine, the beaches, and happy people wherever you look. A top-down automobile is well suited to cruising around Miami and to finding out whether driving the new Beetle is perhaps just as exciting as the effervescent South Beach Miami lifestyle. At night, it cools off to around 25 degrees. The midday sun gives the day's high of almost 40. Late autumn is perfect convertible weather. And the new Beetle is the good times auto. Wherever it shows up, happy smiles. The first impression of the car is like the first impression of the Beach Girls. Too good to be true. The pop-eyed Beetle is a joy to contemplate. The electric roof costs 750 euros extra, but it is well worth the investment because in just 13 seconds the roof is closed and, with a single gesture, locked tight. Even with the top up, the convertible, manufactured in the Mexican city of Puebla, is a fine automobile. The rear window is made of glass and can be heated. The only downside, the diagonal rear view is very limited. When the top is down and folded back in a Z shape, there needs to be a dust cover mounted. A clever mechanism makes this too a speedy matter. There's room in the back for 200 litres of load, enough for even longer journeys and only 8 litres less than the hardtop New Beetle offers. Similarities to the New Beetle Coupe introduced back in 1998 are many, unfortunately, for in the convertible model the acreage of plastic is even more obvious and hardly worthy of the Renaissance classic the Beetle was meant to be. The nostalgic will prefer to recall the lacquered metal of the old Beetle's cockpit. The typical motorization of the new Beetle convertible, 115 horsepower, 2 litres displacement, economical but far from exciting. In 2002, a 150 horsepower version was offered, but at first only for American buyers. The new convertible has been well received even by those loyal to the old model. Enrique Neufeld drives a Beetle convertible built in 1968. He lives in the convertible paradise which is Miami and finds the mix of retro design and modern technology just fine. Well, it's, uh, it looks like an interesting car. I like the idea of you know, a car with this shape and air conditioning. I like the old convertibles very much. That's, uh, that's where my heart is at. Oh, they're very simple and solid and, you know, they're built to last a long time. I think considering what the times are and what we need uh, for, you know, modern driving, it's, it's, a good, uh, it's a good option. Well, I already have an old one, so I'll buy a new one. The Beetle convertible was always a motoring icon for the German soccer team who won the World Cup in 1954, for example. The car was an all-rounder. It was in 1955 that Volkswagen moved on to the American market. On American television, VW boss Heinrich Nordhoff promised that a small, practical automobile could find its niche here. We wouldn't hurt anybody's field. Above all, it was the convertible model which appealed to American buyers. There and across the world, it opened up the pleasure of top-down driving to those who previously couldn't have afforded it. It became a classless lifestyle symbol, and it was also a four-seater for family use. Some even came into the hands of the German police. In 1980, the last of 33,000 convertibles rolled off the assembly line. It was a long wait before its successor was developed. Happy smiles again. Although the drive in the new Beetle is hardly spectacular. The argument is not torque, not horsepower, not traction. It's the all-round view and the wind in your hair.
The joy of cruising around in a new Beetle convertible is unmatched. The feeling of being at one with the landscape through which one is passing, albeit at a leisurely pace, thanks to the sluggish six-gear automatic transmission. €24,000 for the four-seater convertible is a reasonable price, considering that the new Beetle offers a standard what no other automobile, regardless of price and status, can deliver. The feel-good factor. The irrepressible charm, which makes it, according to Americans who know, a chick puller. It seemed to work for us. For other reputed chick puller models, you can be asked to spend more than twice as much, and there's no guarantee of success. New Beetle convertibles can be had second-hand for about 10,000 euros, and the cult standing of this predestined classic of tomorrow just grows and grows and grows.